subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Azure provides three administration tools to choose from. The Azure Portal. The Azure CLI. Azure PowerShell. They all offer approximately the same amount of control. Any task that you can do with one of the tools, you can likely do, with the other two. All three are cross-platform, running on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. They differ in syntax, setup requirements, and whether they support automation. The Azure Portal, is a website that lets you create, configure, and, alter the resources in your Azure subscription. The portal is a graphical user interface, that makes it convenient to locate the resource you need, and execute any required changes. The portal does not provide any way to automate repetitive tasks. The Azure CLI, is a cross-platform command line program, to connect to Azure, and execute administrative commands on Azure resources. For example, to create a VM, you would use a command like the following. The Azure CLI is available in two ways, inside a browser, via the Azure Cloud Shell, or with a local install on Linux, Mac, or Windows. In both cases, it can be used interactively, or scripted. For interactive use, you first launch a shell, such as cmd.exe, on Windows, or Bash on Linux, or Mac OS, and then issue the command at the shell prompt. To automate repetitive tasks, you assemble the commands into a shell script, using the script syntax of your chosen shell, and then execute the script. Azure PowerShell, is a module that you add to Windows PowerShell, or PowerShell Core, to let you connect to your Azure subscription and manage resources. Azure PowerShell requires PowerShell to function. PowerShell provides services like the shell window, command parsing, and so on. Azure PowerShell adds the Azure specific commands. For example, Azure PowerShell provides, the new, AZVM command that creates a virtual machine for you inside your Azure subscription. To use it, you would launch the PowerShell application, and then issue a command like the following. Azure PowerShell is also available in two ways, inside a browser via the Azure Cloud Shell, or with a local install on Linux, Mac, or Windows. In both cases, you have two modes to choose from. You can use it in interactive mode, in which you manually issue one command at a time, or in scripting mode, where you execute a script, that consists of multiple commands. There is approximate parity between the portal, the Azure CLI, and Azure PowerShell, with respect to the Azure objects they can administer, and the configurations they can create. They are also all cross-platform. This means you will typically consider several other factors when making your choice. 1. Automation Do you need to automate a set of complex or repetitive tasks? Azure PowerShell and the Azure CLI support this while the portal does not. 2. Learning Curve Do you need to complete a task quickly, without learning new commands, or syntax? The Azure portal does not require you to learn syntax, or memorize commands. In Azure PowerShell and the Azure CLI, you must know the detailed syntax, for each command you use. 3. Team skill set. Does your team have existing expertise? For example, your team may have used PowerShell to administer Windows. If so, they will quickly become comfortable, using Azure PowerShell. Products and services in Azure, are arranged by category, which has various resources that you can provision. You select the Azure products and services, that fit your requirements, and your account is billed according to Azure's, pay for what you use model. When you provision an Azure resource, Azure creates one or more meter instances for that resource. The meters track the resource's usage, and generate a usage record, that is used to calculate your bill. To make estimates easy for customers to create, Microsoft developed the Azure Pricing Calculator. The Azure Pricing Calculator, is a free web-based tool that allows you to input Azure services, and modify properties and options of the services. It outputs the costs per service, and total cost for the full estimate. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 